So I want to make these things very clear to you. So that you understand this act of the covenant once and for all. And, and I will not go back to this thing. So you will now know why we began this year like this. Can we read there? Are you willing to do so? Yes. To do what? To find the ark. Are we together? Yes. Now please continue. For the thing was right in the eyes of all. Is it right in your eyes? Continue. Let me stand aside. Continue please. So David gathered all Israel together. From Shehom of Egypt. Even to the entering of Hema. To bring the ark of God from so what why was the gathering what was the purpose of the gathering to dance entertainment what was the reason for this gathering i want to see if you understand it to bring the ark of god verse six please my big brother please 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 let's read quickly quickly please and david went up and all israel wait 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 who went up uh, the first person david who was david you can replace this name with our days. What would you call David? Ah, uh, good. Who is that? Good. My wife. Drink water for. Drink water on my bill. So who? What was the throne of David in our day? What will we call David? I, these are the people people we are waiting for. When they when we go to war, they are the front line. They are not seated in palace. Uh, how is it going? They are ruling from front. These are the men that were lost. David fought with his men. He didn't stay in the state house. Uh, what are they doing there? We have cowards in our generation. Men that pay no price apart from political price. The only price you pay is because you have money. So you pay votes. You are not a, you are not a leader. You just have money. Leaders are known from the place they stand when it comes to war. Huh. Okay okay wait and david went up and all what Boys so all israel went because one leader first went do you see who is going first continue to yes. Yes. oh to balar and that is to what did i tell you to yes. Yes. <laughs> which belonged to judah to bring up thanks the ark what was the reason for all this journey? To bring out there? Who is the owner of this ark? God. So that what God is his person, Lord is his authority. That's why you can call your husband Lord. Okay, do we have an well, we have an we have an advocate. Oh my god, a high court advocate. Please. Do you use this word at your office? Yes, we do. So what do you use this word to describe? On, on what ground? Who do you call this word? Because I hear, yes, my? My Lord. So why do you use that? What does it mean in a high court concept? Please stand. Please. Teachers, teachers. Um, it signifies authority of the judge. It signifies authority of the judge. Did I not say that? It signifies what? Authority. authority of the judge. Uh, who was the first woman that introduced this name to the title of the husband? Sarah. Very good. So every woman here, hear me. Your husband has authority over you. <laughs> okay, I know you want to be free. You, the, the generation that cannot be told. Listen to me, woman. If you cannot submit to him, don't marry him. Don't. You're wasting time for us praying for you in the night. I want to sleep. Please. Don't marry any man that you cannot allow his lordship to affect you. <laughs> so even in the high court, you use this word to describe what? Authority. So when you say, yes, my lord, you are saying, yes, my authority. And that authority on that seat is final? Yes, it is. Okay, stay with the microphone. We will be teaching together. You on the high court and me on the spirit court. So he says that dwelleth between the cherubims. You know what cherubims were? So the Ark of the Covenant, please focus my generation. The Ark of Covenant was built with two angelic forces on it. And they spread something. What do you call it? 
good. One spread this way, and one spread that way. And anytime you see the cherubims, their work was to guard the glory of God. Part of that cherub was Lucifer. Do you want proof? Ezekiel 28. The Bible says that you are in Eden. The Bible calls him, oh, anointed cherub. That cover it. So what is the purpose of every cherub? To cover. My generation, please hear. Please, just listen. What is the purpose of a cherub? To cover. So the cherub in this dimension, the ark represented. And the people that were on top of it, they were covering something. So it means whatever they were covering should not be known. Whose name is called on it. So that name, they did not open it. Did you notice? They didn't tell us the name that is on it. They just said the name is on that ark. Are we together? So they didn't tell us the name. So there was a name on that ark. But we don't know. And the people that were manning this ark, in a simple way, they were called what? Cherubs. Because their work was to cover. Please continue quickly. I see people want to sleep. Let's make sure you don't sleep. And they carried the ark of God in a new cart. What is the word cart? Do you see horses? What they push? Please, this is not cart. You notice it has an R. I take time to teach. So don't assume they put it in front of a, in, in the back of a cart. No, it is a cart. That thing that pushes. Okay? Out of the you see? Of? Okay, that one I can understand. I've been a dab. And Uza and Ahio drove the cart. These were the three people. The first one that drove the cart. Now you can imagine. You see the cart? The way the horses? They were two, three drivers. The first one was who? Abinadab. The second one was who? Uza. The third one was who? Ahio. They drove that cart. Can we continue? Quickly, I want to finish. Verse 8. Thank you, my brother. He says this. Can we read? And David and all Israel played before God with all their might. Can you imagine a whole Kenya playing in one can you imagine the kind of sound how will god ignore this is the goal but because god cannot find them he has to look for one and with singing did you see that you see why i told you i always sing and with harps these things are not new and with and with and with symbols and with trumpets verse 9 and when they came unto the orchestration floor of Chidon Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the ark who Uzzah who was Uzzah did we read about Uzzah who was Uzzah his work was to drive in every generation, you must know where you stand. And if you leave your authority, you will die quickly. Our generation as men, God called them to be evangelists. But because what's booming is apostolic, they will walk out of the evangelistic and start apostolic call. And because they are not wired as an apostle, they will lose the calling. Do you understand? So Uzzah here was only taught how to do what? His work was to drive the cart. His work was not to take care of the ark. Let it fall. Stay in your lane. And for the oxen stumbled. <laughs> Continue verse 10. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah. And he smote him. Who, who is this he? The Lord. Because he put Both his hand to the ark. And there he died before, before God. You see, we want to discover what this ark is. We don't want to talk long. We want to teach. Can we teach? Mm. We want to teach. So you must give me time and use water. So at this moment, I authorize you to walk out and walk in. I will know you are going to help your eyes. And there he died before God. Mm. Question, why did he die? Could it be that you are trying to save a relationship that should be dead? Mm. Could it be that that ministry you think is a ministry? God is, does not. Can I tell you my little story? I was in the city. 
the ministry was booming at one point i was on one of the local tvs i didn't marry this woman with a problem in fact my wedding i had no one to what do you call it please don't hate me it's just the way i mean I, I didn't say it's wrong i just said don't make me say what i didn't do i didn't ask for muchango ask her my mom is the only person that forced me to take that muchango so she noticed that i'm not asking for help so she bought me cake i said okay okay we'll use your cake so i didn't marry her with a problem per se okay we now started life things were good one day as i was teaching before i went on a sunday service i'm talking i'm explaining this some things you should allow them to die what you are trying to save is what is killing you so now the bible says that okay let's let's let me finish mine before the bible so now i married my wife we had no problem i was teaching well then one day on a sunday morning i said this for god's glory i'm waking up before i wake up i had a vision and i'm the kind of a person that can take six months to dream a dream so i take my dreams with weight i don't dream with spoons no i cannot see a book like this some of you anything you see it appears in your dream anything if you see that color green it will probably be not captured in one of your five dreams in one night they are not dreams it's because your brain is not resting okay you'll understand that from a doctor's report so now i married her and then i realized that everything is okay so in the vision i saw a man come to me sir i say this by the truth of god they are witnesses and uh, i had a nice suit the coat i wear i wore that last day i still have it here in my office okay where is my pa bring me the coat i've never showed anyone that coat you now know why i hold this teaching dearly bring the coat you will understand it so someone told me in the dream it was an open vision i saw the man walking his face i can't tell you i'll be lying the man asked me two questions are you looking for jesus or ministry i now began you know i was i was a wise man according to my littleness until i realized the one talking to me already knows the answer so i tried to be the pastor you know every pastor has an answer he said yeah you know brother you know i have both jesus and that's not how i answer i said i began talking to myself if i tell the man i'm looking for i don't want to digress from this so that we finish quickly if i tell the man i'm looking for jesus so who do i have and if i tell the man i'm looking for ministry what am i doing so my little human intelligence began calibrating an answer and for one for once i had no answer I now had to answer based on those. He, it's like he knew there was no way out of this answer. So I told him, I'm looking for Jesus. That man told me, this is not how you find him. Mind you, I am doing what the ordinary church leader does. I have members. I have a nice car. I am booming. If you check my sermons in those days, they're on YouTube. Ooh. I'm already in a nation. I'm, 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 I'm teaching in Rwanda. He's a living witness. I'm teaching in Uganda and at that time this being tells me this is not how you find him I was going for a service I want to show you the court it is when I finished the service I told them pastor you and you rise from now these are your pastors the people are confused they ask me where what do you mean where are you going I say, me I'm going to look for Jesus <laughs> that's why some things you're protecting you should not be like who? Uza. Ask your neighbor, are you Uza? Bring this coat. This coat is very many years old. But you see the way? Yeah, that shows you who I am. Some of you, if I give you this coat in three weeks, have you ever given one of your brothers something that you've kept for? Okay, I don't want to touch you. Maybe you are the one that was given. I want to be careful. I want to be careful. Maybe you will not come again if I talk like that. I've realized that I can keep something. Look at it. Can I tell you how many years this coat is? And I can wear it now, right? Okay, let's try. My wife thinks I'm crazy. I've never worn this coat for all those years. Today is when I'm wearing it. Let me prove to you that I fast. You will understand the chronicles. Six years. Wear it. 
alafu kiachili na katiki don't worry my car in fact inapita kabisa this was the last coat i wore when he told me you this is not how you find jesus can you imagine this coat in those days and then you're walking like this someone who asked what's wrong with your legs he said no it's design my brother you don't know the design this is how i looked when he told me this is not how you find him this didn't matter to me what mattered to me is that this man told me this is not how i'll find the one i'm looking for that's when we now left and went into the lands of ukambani and for three years we stayed in the wilderness it is today i understand why he told me to quit what i'm trying to protect uza let it go is i didn't call you to protect i called you to drive the agenda jesus didn't call you to protect the body of christ you're doing the wrong job he called you to drive the agenda are we together so according to me I was already a failure. I want to see if you understand why. Huh? Okay, I removed that. We will only use that for that name. Don't use that to answer me. Why? Why was I wrong? Because Jesus already thought I was a failure. And it did not matter what you think. And funny enough, the man of God I had around, she's a living witness. Anytime I met them, they come, you are doing well. Ah. If your beauty ends in the tongues of men, you are wrong. Tell your neighbor, you are wrong. If you need to be encouraged by a man to do God's will, you will sooner than later know you will be Elijah and you will enter a cave and there is no one. It is only you and God. I'm the last person to look for encouragement when God tells me to do something. Can I tell you why? Because if God told me to do it, I will only need God to, to ask and if i will ask you i must check your work with god <laughs> so some of you meet me on facebook man of god i feel like talking to you you don't feel like talking to me you are attracted to the anointing we are old in this thing don't try that you don't feel like talking to me you saw the anointing and then you like the way it moved and you like the way the english came out it's not me you're looking for if it is me you're looking for first you will study me in the wilderness it was this woman, stand up, that studied me for two years. Stand up, you. Never sent me a message. It is after I hosted Apostle Arome, senior teacher, our father in the Lord. The next day, someone called me. I have a move also. I have a move. Invite me to Kenya. <laughs> the next day, people began prophesying to me. One actually during the conference told me that he saw that the number would be few. Is that true? Those that were there? Secondly, he saw that I didn't have enough money. Oh. Is that true? Hello. So already you are a force. The conversation ends there. You know, you can't say that because you, you, you are part of the ones that have spoken some things to get your rent. Don't worry, we want to rescue you. You don't need to prophesy to cheat people. And sometimes God will tell you, in all your prophetic, don't say anything. I didn't talk. You must learn to be quiet when Jesus is quiet. Long story short. This thing I was trying to protect was going to kill me. When the Lord sent me, this my wife got to a point and asked me, Are you sure this God you are telling us is real? Pastor, you're my husband. Just tell me. Tell me the truth. The thing got hard. This my sister joined the sister. She's now started two, you know, two women threatening you with your Jesus. What it means? The thing was so deep, it went to my own mother that bought me. So telling me, don't die in this thing. Don't die. Don't die. Oh. And I had a bunch of people that almost, I was like, I Who asked them? I, me, for, me, I have, this is how I spoke 10 years ago. This was me. I decided I would die with Jesus. So don't tell me oh man akiyako kamu tu kasaidi tu mungu woi yaki woi menye kanonge yaki woi 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 tu meona wengi oh how do you meona you have not seen CW 
leave me me i've decided to follow jesus this woman after was it how long two years two years it's now when she reached out and she told me i've been your student for two years <laughs> you you meet me today today you have poured your whole heart how your husband beats you be careful of people that speak about where they came from one of the things that will make me cw put an x is when you start telling me how another man of god is bad i i don't i don't enter that realm it's too small for me we are not destroyers we are builders so even if that person is wrong i won't attack that person i will attack you and put sense so that you can help that person so this is a court i want have a seat and i was trying to say something did you know that it is when the ministry died do you know oh can you tell them how many people laughed at me you are men of god i don't want to call them names my god it's like we have, have you ever seen people waiting for you it is in this generation i knew how men wait for you to fail they said that we told you you told you come down <laughs> oh my god and i swallowed all that and i waited for the lord and i can tell you today he came Amen. jesus came he came in such a way where we passed we are the least we know but we do the greatest we know ask your neighbor neighbor what are you protecting that needs to fall to the ground please ask your neighbor what are you protecting what are you protecting it is that job that is paying you three hundred thousand that you are now too busy to pray and the god that gave it to you you used to pray and now the thing cannot make you to pray to the god of the thing i've seen people become allow me to use you no it's not you i've seen people become advocates high courts doctors in my little teaching for the 10 years over 10 years i've been teaching i've seen people that come with title they used to come to you and borrow transport are we am i saying the truth then they became millionaires and now they started talking to me as if that talk you know that talk the mouth looks like my, the way my leg is moving and you begin to notice why did you change and many of them after climbing guess what happened guess who they now found cw Uza. so tell your neighbor neighbor let go of things 